If we look specifically at the knee in patellar tendon rehab, what is going on to take you from pain to pain-free? We know it's about the central nervous system, it's about the muscle, and it's about the tendon, but what are the time frames for these things to adapt to decrease your pain? This was covered by Ebony Rio and Sean Docking in this editorial titled Adaptation of the Pathological Tendon. You cannot trade in for a new one, but perhaps you don't need to. They had this graph to show that in the initial stages of rehab, the decreases in pain are mainly from changes in the central nervous system. As you get further down, about 12 weeks, you start to see the changes in the musculature. As you get to about six months, you start to see the changes to the tendon. A similar graph has been used to explain changes in strength. If we look at this top curve, that is strength gain over time. If you look at the second curve, that is neural adaptation, the central nervous system. This is how someone is getting strong in the initial weeks of training. As they get more experienced over time, the neural adaptation kind of goes away and they need to gain more hypertrophy to continue to gain strength. So in training for pain or performance, the initial changes are coming from the central nervous system. Secondly, they would be coming from the muscular system. And lastly, they would be coming from the tendon itself. If we talk about the four-stage process to decrease pain, this is where stage one is isometrics, and this is to use the central nervous system to activate the quads again. If you get into stage two, this is isotonics. This is mainly focusing on strengthening the muscle, the quadricep. And then if you get to stage three, this is where you're getting the tendon to behave in a store and release manner again. If we go to a less structured plan, you could just have inhibited quadriceps due to pain, and a heavy leg extension could fix that. You could just have weak quadriceps, and you need to strength train. And and you could just have a consistently blown up tendon from doing way too much store and release activity that you're not prepared for. In most cases, it's probably a bit of all three.